We are here with Naomi Whittle, who is the CEO of Twin Lab, as well as the CEO and founder of Reservage. But this is a very big moment because she is debuting her brand new book, Glow 15, a science-based diet for weight loss and improving our skin health. Exactly. This book took me, well, first and foremost, thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. The book is a culmination of like seven years of research working with leading experts all over the globe to really help give us the easy and simple ways to help our body look and feel its absolute best. Well, let me ask you this because, you know, hearing a book on weight loss, which we hear a lot of, yeah. but then you threw in that the skincare element. Why did you do that? So weight loss and uh, reduction in inflammation and skin health, they're all interconnected. So outer and inner health and beauty, like right now I'm looking at you, your skin is glowing, it's so gorgeous. And I know that if we were to take a microscope and look at your cells, they're gonna be glowing with beauty and vibrance as well. And so that's what this book is, it's a lifestyle about really helping your body to do what it wants to do naturally, and that is remove the toxins, remove the excess debris, recycle the unneeded parts so that we can glow from the inside out. Well, you know, it's something because when we think about weight loss and, you know, we see a lot of before and after photos right. of people. So they're like, okay, I'm overweight. I don't want to be like this anymore. And then they lose weight, but they're looking at the exterior just from the point of, okay, I weigh less, my clothes fit better, but we do leave out that whole skincare component knowing that when we actually feed our body something healthy, it's gonna come out onto our skin. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, for me, it's a very important part of my own health journey because I was covered in eczema. Really? My whole body, as an autoimmune disorder, eczema you know, would exhibit itself, my skin would bleed and pus, and it was so awful and so intense that everything I put on my skin and everything that I ingest, I know is gonna have an effect on my immune system and where does it show on the outermost layer of our largest organ. Well, let me ask you this. Did you ever have a weight problem? I never had a weight problem, but I've always had an autoimmune disorder. So I have to be very, very cognizant of how I'm taking care of my inner health because it shows on the outside, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is because my health needs it and the level of inflammation that my body can experience i have to be cognizant of it all the time and, and so do most people right well let me ask you this because i know by writing a book like this yeah. and and i know that you were talking to many many people yes. and going through the diet mm -hmm. so what kind of testimonies did you see with people who saw the change not only in their body composition but the improvement in the in the exterior of their skin so this is where it got really exciting. I was in Calabria, Italy four years ago, and I was over there because the citrus bergamot fruit is oh, an incredible yes. fruit that yes. helps with cholesterol it's profiles. Yes, it's the only place it's grown. Only place, it's yes. like a very small area. Oh, yeah. And I was there and the head researcher was saying that, drink this wonderful tea. It's this, it's this sort of like spicy, delicious tea and I want you to try this. And so I started to drink it, and then I was drinking it more. And, and she, on average, would drink four cups a day. Wow. And I asked her at the end of the day, I said, well, why are you drinking so much of this tea? What are you doing? And she said, oh, it activates a special process in my body called autophagy. And autophagy means auto, in Greek, is self, phagy, to eat, self-eating. She said, it's like my anti-aging secret. It's the missing link in anti-aging. So I was obsessed with this weird word, autophagy. I came back to the US and I looked at all the ways we could activate autophagy in our body. How could we do it in our skin? How could we do it in all of our organs? How could we do it for our weight? Like how do we activate this little process? And I tested all of these different ideas on myself and then I took my friends and family and I was like, okay, you're my guinea pigs. They loved the results I got. I had more energy, more well-being. I was sleeping better. My skin looked way better, despite having more stress. Yeah. Like my chronic stress was so intense, but I was able to cope in a better way. And so then I said, wow, this is really something. I'm gonna do a clinical study. 
So I took a whole team of women, you know, mothers, administrators, CEOs, deans of colleges, and I put them on an eight-week program. And we studied their markers for for wrinkles, fine lines and wrinkles. Really? We studied all like their BMI, their energy, all, all these things, their sleeping patterns. And two weeks into the program, I got a call from the researchers and they said every single person has achieved a result. So some people in 15 days lost seven pounds, some people reduced fine lines and wrinkles, some people got off their medications. Some people, there's this one woman, she she got carded and she's in her mid 40s. Oh my goodness, um, wow. Another woman who had gotten to a place where she was like uncomfortable to sort of like leave her house, her confidence was very low. She built more energy, more well-being, and was like already communicating. And her biomarkers, you know, her cortisol levels were going down. That means her weight was improving. All of them had an impact on their health. But isn't that amazing that every area impacts the skin? Every area. You know, it, it, you know, we think about okay. I eat fruits and vegetables. I drink plenty of water. Mm -hmm. I do this. I do that. I may put moisturizer on. To anything that we do internally actually shows up on the skin, good or bad. Everything. But then to do a science-based weight loss program yep. that in a way not only addresses us losing the weight that can be detrimental to our health, but then getting that glow back. Because I know your book is called Glow 15. Yep. So is this a 15-day program? It's a jump start 15 days because the scientists said that everybody in the study got benefits, but it's it's a lifestyle. Yes. And it's different than what you're going to see out there. So it's not about calorie restriction, not at all. You don't count any calories. It's about embracing fat. I eat probably 120 grams of fat a day. Now what types of fat? Because oh. I know everybody wants to know, like well, 120 grams of fat, what does that mean? I all mean the good fats. So tons of avocados, tons of macadamia nuts, I love macadamia. tons of olives, tons of I mean, peely nuts are really good. I eat a lot, of, I eat, I never take the skin or the fat on the meat off. That's where I go first. I wow. I, I drink bone broth all the time, oh, yeah. but I eat the marrow. Like I really eat the nutrient dense fatty foods. And then of course the book also talks about the importance of polyphenols, right? So they're found in dark chocolate, red wine, mm -hmm. blueberries, blackberries, all of these sort of things as well. You know, it's funny because we probably met five or six years ago. Yes, you still haven't. You still haven't aged Aww. a day. Now, well, when did you, you know, even back then, and I and I remember when Reservage yeah. literally started. I remember and, we, and, us meeting. Yeah, and now, you know, your, your booth is three times, four times larger. Yeah. You know, you have this brand new book out. When did... When did you really start getting into a higher a higher fat diet to really kind of understand, you know, creating low yes. 15? So I started to get, I've all, so I grew up in Europe and in Europe, you embrace fat, right? There is no, well, I never- the French are very heavy exactly. in the fat. Exactly, so I, I grew up eating double cream brie cheese, taking the cream off the top of the milk and eating it. That's how I've been brought up every morning starting with a shot of cod liver oil, like literally, and especially for someone who has an autoimmune disorder and inflammation, you need that much more fat. And so I grew up with a ton of fat. And when I came to this country when I was 12, people are into low fat, they're into no fat, they're into all this stuff. And I'm like, how can this be? Mm -hmm. And so I never embraced that. I don't believe in skim, I don't believe in low fat, I can't stand no fat because you look at our country and what do we have? 60% is overweight mm -hmm. or obese, diabetic and pre-diabetic is at 50%. We are not getting it right. right. We are not getting it right. And so probably about three or four years ago, I started to really say, how much fat can I consume and how will that make me feel? Mm -hmm. So if we look around, we're at a huge convention, right? There are 80 something thousand people here. We are either sugar burners, or we're fat burners, or we're body fat burners. And when I learned that I could move away from being a sugar burner, which is, you know, gonna spike my insulin, yes. make me nuts, make my lack, like give me lack of focus, get foggy, or I could embrace the good fat not just any fat, but the good fat, 
and have mental focus, more energy, more mental stability. And it's not about weight because your body's using fat to well, burn. Well, you know, that's another thing a lot of people don't realize. Yeah. That they go on a weight loss program and they're happy that the scale numbers are, are decreasing. Mm -hmm. But when, you know, America jumped on this whole no low fat, yeah. no fat diet because doctors said they were saying bad fat, but they put all fats in a bad category. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't looking at omega-3s as being healthy, avocado being right. healthy, coconut oil being healthy. Yeah. And not realizing that we're starving yeah. the brain, which is 60 to 70% exactly. fat. That is our foundation. Mm -hmm. And by removing the foundation, then we wonder why we have an increase in uh, depression, mm -hmm. mental instability, yep. lack of focus, yep. and poor memory. I know, and, and it's, it's easy to move from carbs to fat. It doesn't take that much. And in my book, I have tons of really good fatty recipes. We could even eat a fat bomb right now if you want to try one. <laughs> Rachel, will you grab some fat bombs so we can try them eating? Now, the, you call this a fat bomb. This is called a fat bomb. So what? what which are these? Uh, those are matcha. These are matcha, um, and this is peanut butter chocolate. Ah, okay. So these well, you got are that all, one. these are, um, they're absolutely delicious. So how much fat did you, are, are in the, are There are about 12, 12 to 13 grams of fat in here. No carbohydrates, no sugar, and they are so satiating. And you don't want to just eat one in a day. You want to eat at least two, because what happens is your body says, oh, fat is my preferred fuel. Thank wow. you so much. I don't want that chocolate that's that's got you know all the sugar, the cane sugar and all that. Well, OK. If you used to be a sugar holic, yes. And you now go to the high fat. Yes. You found that you killed the sugar craving. You kill the sugar craving. You're satiated. You're focused. It's like the energy, the boundless energy. And so that's what we talk about right in, in here. the book. Yeah. How many of you right now are you would classify yourselves as a sugar holic? I mean, I personally would pick sugar over salt. That yeah. would be me. Um, but to think about, you know, you know, the big thing now is like the, the, the ketogenic diet. Yes. You know, much yep. higher fat, but you really bring the Glow 15 to a whole new level, even above the ketogenic yes. diet. Yes, yes, because ketogenics is awesome, and it's it can be very hard for people to do, but it's wonderful, and there are a lot of steps in here that activate the ketones, right? So we do intermittent fasting, we cycle the protein, have low levels of protein, and that's all very important. But if you're satiating yourself and with that feeling of like, yum, I'm so satisfied, I'm not obsessing on where my next bit of sugar is, even though I just ate all this food because you're satiated, then what happens is you're activating the autophagy. You're activating that youth deep down inside your cells for that like cellular beauty brilliance. That's what it's about. You know, I think you just cured the two o'clock afternoon blues that people yes. get after lunch. Totally. Because now you won't have that if you're no. actually eating the, the yes. healthy fats that we need every single day. So you eat a little fat bomb. I made these at home. Really? Yes, you have my little home recipe here. Wow. What you, eat this what you have to you do, have make about 100,000 of these for everyone around here? No, only, I'm only sharing them with certain people. Oh, I'm special. <laughs> wow. Well, I can't wait for the new line. Because I, I know that, that you, Everything you do is science-based. Yeah. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, check out Reservage. Check out the, the I want to say the rebranding of Twin Lab. I yes. mean, I remember Twin Lab when I was 10 years old. Aww. And that's a long time ago. But you're doing amazing things in this Thank industry. You. you keep it up. And for Aww. everyone, look, you can lose weight. Your skin can glow in 15 days. Go to your local bookstore. Go online, Amazon. Buy the book. Download it. I guess in a Kindle. Absolutely. I do Kindle. I don't need a whole shelf full of books, but I got a yeah. Kindle. So awesome. down, get Glow 15 from Naomi Whittle and change your life because I am think I'm going to get onto the high fat myself. I can't I wait. I think it works. I cannot wait. All right. So stay with us. We'll be right back after this.